All right, guys, good morning. We have Nala, the American Pitbull Terrier here today. And she's here for a long one with us. She's here for 10 weeks to uh, overcome some of her people aggression and nervousness, anxiety. So um, it was a bit of a process to um, do the handover from mom to our staff. Uh, we did some double noosing where we were able to move her around. Um, the only aggression that we've seen here is barrier related aggression, meaning when she's in her crate, particularly with men, with Sarah actually, she's really, really good. But there's definitely something here with men, so there's no telling what that's all about. Um, but when any of our male staff, including myself, approaches the crate, we do get that growl in the back up and then that lunge forward if you really press her. Um, what's interesting enough about it is, guys, as soon as you open the crate door, this is kind of what we get. And you know, I'm not really pressing her too much. I'm not forcing her into a heel. I'm not letting her drag me all over the place, but I'm kind of giving her her space here until she really trusts me. Um, so any food that's been given to her has been given out of hand. Um, she had actually some nice roasted chicken right from me just before we came out here. Um, but uh, she's out with me, she's walking around, and one of the important things when you have any sort of aggression, whether it's fear or dominance related, is you can't teach the dog that that works. So when she barked at me and went crazy in the crate, the last thing I want to do is like, okay, guess we're just not going to go for a walk. That's just reinforcing the behavior. And like, look, her body language is loosening up, her tail's coming up. If we leave the dog in that place, the information they got from that scenario was I became aggressive and the human or the other dog or whatever went away. It's purely positive nonsense. You should not let a dog call the shots, right? You're only going to serve to make the dog further and further worse by, you know, allowing them to get away with that. Now, I've been at this for about 10 years, guys, you know, so we don't, um, really recommend anyone try this if you don't know what you're doing because don't get me wrong these guys are very powerful dogs they pack a lot of pounds of pressure with those bites but we're just out here we're peeling around her mouth is nice and open much more relaxed so uh, the narrative she's going to have with me at least for the next couple weeks is we're gonna hang out, we're gonna have our outings, and most importantly, if she wants to eat, it's gotta come from my hand. So no obedience uh, for at least two weeks, just relationship building and routine, getting her comfortable, and we're doing really, really nicely with this so far. So for about another five, 10 minutes, we're just gonna walk around, hang out, let her go potty, and just kind of you know see the sights a little bit. And just to get an idea, you know, it is hot out here and you can see how I'm dressed. I'm just doing that just in case for a little extra protection. But I definitely don't see this as a dominant aggressive dog that's looking to actively come after me. I mean, she has her chance right here, guys. Um, a fear aggressive dog is going to be your chicken dog where, you know, they're actually going to back up. They don't want to fight and they're trying to avoid a confrontation. So, um, take a close up on her. Everyone say goodbye for now. Yeah. And we'll check in later.